The state cabinet in a meeting on Wednesday decided not to hand over the Margaon blast case to the Central Bureau of Investigation despite the demand by the opposition to hand over the case to the country's premier investigative body. Chief Minister Digambar Kamath on Wednesday expressed confidence in the state police to conduct the investigation into the Margaon blast in a professional manner. He said if required, Goa police could take help from their Maharashtra counterparts. But I would only make a statement that Goa police is taking help of various other agencies, including counterparts of Maharashtra, and trying to see that they try to go to the root cause of this. Addressing a press conference in the city after the cabinet meeting on Wednesday, the chief minister informed about the decision not to hand over the case to the CBI. Mr. Kamath also informed about other decisions taken by the cabinet, such as to boost biotechnical units and to encourage people to join the bio industry. The state government has introduced three schemes, which were notified in 2007 and formulated now. One is interest subsidy scheme for biotechnology units. Second, Goa State Employment Subsidy Scheme for Biotechnology Units and Goa State Investment Subsidy Scheme for Biotechnology Units. These are the three schemes which today the Cabinet has approved. The Cabinet has also approved the extension of the service of the teachers who have been awarded at the state as well as the national level from one year to two years. One important decision of the Cabinet has been the creation of computer teachers posts in schools. Creation of post teaching uh, is for accommodating the computer teachers <laughs> who are uh, around 80 teachers who are working for the last so many years. So we are amend amending the guidelines for the creation of this uh, post in the schools. The cabinet has also approved to go ahead with the ceiling project from Vasco to Panjim under PPP mode. The cabinet has also approved to go ahead with the ceiling project from Vasco to Panaji under the PPP mode and the appointment of a consultant. Besides, the cabinet has also approved to have permanent ferry service in Kamburjua constituency on the Tolop to Dharvji route. A new beach hack policy for 2009-2010 has also been approved. Cabinet has also approved the beach sack policy 2009-2010 for grant of permission for erection of temporary sex for the tourist season 2009-2010.